This is Furniture Redesign by MBM. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm working in my basement, and here's a look at the projects that we'll be working on today. This old desk. Now it's kind of beat up, it's chipped. Um, the drawers do work, uh, it just wasn't on the track. So uh, they work. Uh, it is particle board with a laminate top. The drawers are wood, but it has a particle board stamped inlay on it. So of course we're gonna get rid of that. I do like the hardware but I'm not sure if I'm going to reuse it. So this is the chair that I'll use uh, to go with the desk. Now this is a really old chair and I don't really want to mess with the wicker bottom just in case somebody else wants to finish, but I will be adding a cushion on top of that and upholstering the bottom. So let's go ahead and prepare both pieces to be washed down. So I want to take the hardware off the desk. And look, a personal check in the bottom of the drawer. Now also I see there's a chip on the corner here. I'm going to have to fix that. And then I'm going to have to fill in this carved design. And I have to make sure that I fix the track on the back of the drawer. Before we get into it, I want to tear up this check because it's the right thing to do. I'm going to take my TSP and my spray bottle, spray my piece, and begin to scrub. I'm going to put on a rubber glove, and then I'll start to scrub my piece. I have clean water in my bucket. Now it's time to rinse. Everything has been cleaned and rinsed and now it's time to sand. I'm in my basement so I'm gonna use my little uh, rabbit sander and I'm going to use 100 grit sandpaper to rough up the piece. Now the top is laminate, but I do want to give it a scuff sand as well. Now I'm going to switch over to the hand sander and I'm using 150 grit sandpaper. Again, now I just want to get those areas where I could not reach and where there was chip and paint. I want to make sure that it's smooth. Thank you. 
I'm using a chip brush to brush away the dust and then I'll use a damp cloth to make sure that there's none left behind. Now I'm going to use my Elmer's wood filler and I want to fill in the carved areas on my drawers. I'll be using a large popsicle stick to press the glue down into the grooves. Now it's time for paint. On today, I'll be using Retique It in the color Gypsum. I'm also using my round chalk paintbrush to paint the piece. I later switch to my short handle angle brush and continue painting the piece. My husband kicked me out of the family room this week, so I'm working in my basement. Actually, I'll probably be working down here for a while. I did have him help me bring some pieces from the garage to the basement. So I am in the process of trying to get my basement um, in some kind of working order for myself. So bear with me, excuse my lighting as I continue to try to get my shop down here together. This is the first coat of paint on my desk. I'm going to let it dry. Also, I'm going to let the wood filler on my drawers dry and I'll come back to sand and add a second coat. I've already started to paint my chair and I am using my Diamond Hard acrylic paint in Ivory Snowflake. I'm doing this because I want my chair to have a durable paint and I don't want it to wear down. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to paint my chair with the Diamond Heart paint. I'm ready to do a second coat of paint on my desk, but I'm gonna use this 240 grit sandpaper and I just want to make sure that I sand out any bubbles or anything that's not level in my paint before adding my second coat. Also, it'll give the second coat something to adhere to. Now I'm taking a damp cloth and making sure that I remove that dust. Now for my second coat, I have my mister and I wanna mist the furniture before I add my second coat of paint. This will allow me to have more work time and get that second coat on smooth.
Now that the paint is drying on the desk, I'm going to use a 150 grit sandpaper and sand my door. I'm going to use a chip brush to brush away the dust and then use a damp cloth to wipe the drawers down. I know it seems like I'm kind of all over the place, but I am doing a desk and a chair. And by the way, I changed from or to my short handle angle brush to add the second coat of paint to the chair. It's getting late. I'm gonna finish getting this second coat of paint on my chair and we'll come back tomorrow and continue. Okay, I'm back. It's been a couple days and I was trying to find some fabric that I wanted to use on the chair and I really couldn't find anything that I truly, truly like. So I know I said I wasn't gonna spray paint uh, the the wicker in the bottom but I decided or paint I decided to go ahead I had some semi-gloss ivory uh, paint in the rust-oleum and I decided to go ahead and just spray paint the whole chair with this now it's already been painted in the ivory color uh, and now I just want to use this. So I'm just going to paint the wicker and that see what it looks like. Now I know this is going to take a couple coats. This is my first coat. So I'm going to let my first coat dry, do a second coat, and we'll come back and take a look at it. Morning, I am back. Last night I added a second coat of wood filler to my drawer fronts, and now I just want to sand them soon. Then I use a damp cloth to wipe away all the dust. Remembering to sand the corner of the drawer front where I added the bondo. I also sand the inside of the drawers to smooth them out. Now it's time to repair the track. I need to take the staples out of the track. When my hammer didn't work, I resorted to a screwdriver to lift it up. I just need to get these staples out. Now this is the drawer glide. It goes into a groove that's cut on the bottom and then it screws to the back side of the drawer. I'm gonna use some half inch screws to hold it in place. Now my bracket is secure. Now it's time to get paint on the drawer fronts. 
So I'm taking my mister and I am going to spray some water inside the paint, mix it up, and I want to paint my drawer fronts. I'm gonna finish adding my first coat of paint to the drawers, let it dry, add a second coat, and come back for the next step. My paint is dry on my piece. I've added a top coat, and now I wanna try these transfers. I picked up these from Amazon. There's three sheets. The first thing I wanna do is cut out my flowers and figure out my placement. So I've cut out my transfers, including the small pieces. Now I just want to figure out the placement for the larger roses on the top and the drawers. Let's see, hmm, I think I'm going to try this one here. I'm going to cut out a little bit more and place it on the drawer and then we'll be just begin to lay it out. Transfer should pull away from the paper and then you place it on the drawer. Now, this is the first time that I'm using a transfer, so we're gonna do this together. Now, you use, should use something smooth, so I'm gonna lay it on the dresser, and I'm gonna use my painter's tool, and this is just to press the flower into place, and then I'll pull back on the transfer paper, leaving the flower on the drawer front. So the first one worked out pretty good. I'm gonna continue laying my transfers on the drawer fronts and we'll come back for the next step. Now my transfer paper is pulling away a bit of my paint but I think it's because I added the top coat and maybe the top coat is not quite dry. But as long as the transfer is intact, I'll go over it, my paint, and do a little touch up. I have a few more pieces of the small transfer I wanna add to the drawer fronts, the top and the sides, and then I'll be ready to add my hardware. This is the hardware that I chose for my top. And it's just a crystal knobs. Now I already have the holes here in the desk drawer, the top desk drawer. I'm gonna go ahead and add the hardware to that. And then I'll grab my drill and we'll add holes to the other drawers. I conditioned the inside of my drawers with Howard's wood conditioner. And now I'm going to add this pink contact paper to the inside of all my drawers. I pulled up my gold gilding wax. I used it on the feet and now I'm just gonna go around the curves on the desk. Now I'm finding the location for my holes for the other three drawers. I'm gonna use my drill, drill the hole, and add the hardware. Mm -hmm. 
So here's a quick look at what my desk and my chair looked like before. And here is what it looks like now. Now this is not how I quite envisioned it, but still it turned out okay. I'm happy with it. And I think someone else will be happy with it in their homes. Let me know, what do you think? What would you have done differently? As we move in a little closer, I added a little paint in the top coat and I went over the top of my piece again. I wanted to tone down the flowers a bit. I also added gilding wax to the raised portions or certain portions on the desktop as well as the chair. There will be a list of all the products used in the description box below. And of course, I added a few flowers to the back of the chair. On the inside of the drawers, I used my Howard's Feed. I waxed the inside of the drawers. And on the bottom, I used this pink contact paper to soften up the bottom of the drawers. I do hope you all have enjoyed this video. And if so, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well so you won't know when I upload new videos. I want to thank everyone for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.